offended. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdos. <laughs> What are some major current environmental issues in Australia? Population growth is at the core of most of these issues. Australia's population reached 24.2 million in June 2016, increasing by 3.8 million people, or 18% in the 10 years since the late June 2006. Australia is one of the most urbanized nations in the, in the world, but most of the continent is actually inhospitable to humans. 85% of the people live within 50 kilometers of the coast, leaving vast emptiness in the middle. The amount of agricultural land and drinking water is very small compared to the size of the continent. Australia's population is made up of two components, the first being a natural increase. A natural increase is births minus deaths. The second is net overseas migration. This is the net gain or loss of a population through migration. The 2002 natural increase represented 51% of Australia's population growth, and net overseas migration represented 49%. By 2012, natural increase represented only 40% of Australia's population growth, with net overseas migration topping in at 60%. Another problem we'd like to talk about are the negative impacts of infrastructure development in Australia. Infrastructure development is necessary for a city to develop and advance, but there are some detrimental outcomes. The two major negative aspects of infrastructure development are public transport strikes and roadway construction. Infrastructure can cause various people to lose their homes. For example, dams have caused about 40 to 80 million people worldwide to lose their homes. For those who rely on land or access for natural resources, this negatively impacts them the most. We may not realize it, but infrastructure can affect people nowhere near the actual development site. It can affect river flow, the quality of water, amount of sedimentation, and the migration patterns of fish. Similar to that, it can harm the environment in general. I say that as a general statement, but more specifically, it can pollute large bodies of water, spread pollution byproducts from construction, and change fish migration patterns. So it is very important to understand the concept of overgrazing. Uh, this is totally unrelated to the number of of animals that are there, it is much more a function of time. Overgrazing is any grazing that takes place on root energy. Uh, this root energy allows the plant to, to grow back under many conditions, not related to rainfall or sunlight, it's coming from the energy within the plant, but it's cost that plant significant energy. If those new leaves are grazed prematurely the plant does not have sufficient energy to do it too many more times. It must be allowed enough time to regrow uh, for those leaves to begin to capture solar energy and grow new roots to restore the energy in the whole root system to withstand a future defoliation. In comparison to other countries around the world Australia has a relatively small pollution problem although there are problems. Not having any neighbors, they are fortunately, they are fortunately unaffected by transboundary air pollutants or pollutions from other countries. With that being said, Australia is to blame for all the pollution that exists in and around its territory. Australia is affected by three main types of pollution, air, water, and land. Australia's greenhouse gas emissions are the highest compared to all other industrial countries. These gases come from human actions. Burning fossil fuels to generate electricity and the increasing number of cars on the roads are Australia's two main contributing factors. As a result, Australian cities will often experience blankets of smog. Urban sprawl has been another contributing factor to Australia's pollution problems. As more and more people move to the cities, the pressures on resources increase. More water, electricity, and cars are used in a more concentrated area. Air pollution is a major result of these pressures. Pollutants in Australia's waterways are another huge problem. Agriculture plays a role in this. Increased runoff of sediment, nutrients, and contaminants from the land has lowered coastal water quality and marine e ecosystem health across northern Australia. 
Coastal areas are becoming more and more developed, which has resulted in pollutants being produced. Rivers are out of balance. Salinity, algal blooms, cleared vegetation, and diverting water are all contributing, contributing factors to the destruction of Australia's healthy waterways. Australia has a history of direct dumping of industrial waste into nearby waterways. Australia's world-famous Great Barrier Reef is also feeling the damaging consequences of water pollution. The Great Barrier Reef is currently experiencing the damaging effects of coral bleaching, where the coral dies and goes white. The introduction of exotic or invasive species can have a negative impact on Australia's environment. Invasive species are animals, plants, and or parasites that live outside their natural habitat and become pests. The most invasive animals were introduced for sport, as pets or as livestock, and pack animals. Some could have been brought into the country to shut down another pesty animal, yet becoming a pest as well in the process. Invasive plants, on the other hand, were introduced in different ways, sometimes as crops, plants, or plants to help prevent erosion. Fungi and viruses are also exotic species. Soil fungus, which was probably brought to Australia from European settlement, caused a dieback many years ago. In Australia, invasive species can cause soil damage, harm plants and animals, and production loss. Animals with hard hoofs can be too harsh on the soil, making it difficult for native vegetation to grow back. Invasive animals can compete with native animals for prey, which endangers the native animal. Invasive weeds compete with native plants for space as well, booting them out of their homes. Some techniques for stopping the negative impacts of invasive species are trapping, venting, poisoning, and shooting. Other techniques include natural predation. Spotted a rare, rare wild animal species. This is some great footage of the exotic wild animals. Yo, Dan. Yo. What is this right here? It's a plant. Hey, Dan, what is this over here? This is another plant. Hey Dan, what's this over here? Up there? It's a tree. Overfishing has caused many negative effects for Australia, which is caused by two main factors. These factors are areas having low biological productivity and harsh fishing efforts by fishermen and recreational fisheries. Australia has had many fish classified as being overfished. For example, in 2005, 17 out of 82 species were said to be overfished in Australian waters. Most recent figures indicate that over 85% of the world's fish docks are now fished up to full capacity or are overfished. How can we balance what we get from the ocean and keep it healthy to ensure we have fish in the future? Australian fisheries are known to be the best in the world and are usually labeled as sustainable. Also, international fisheries set the bar really low. Australia manages the third largest marine exclusive economic zone, which is the area of the ocean that Australia manages. Despite the large area that is managed, the water lacks nutrients and is not abundant in fish. Look at all these fish. Yeah, we're about to hit Marquee. But look at this. If this ain't overfishing, what is? What is? Leave No Trace is a nonprofit organization in Australia that promotes responsible outdoor travel and recreation through education, research, and partnerships. Leave No Trace has seven principles to help people minimize their negative impact on natural areas in Australia. The first principle is to plan ahead and prepare. Travel and camp on durable surfaces. Yo, do you want to like set up camp here? No, it's too loose. We should go over there. Oh, it's too loose here. Oh, let's let's, oh, go, over let's go over here. Let's go over here. Oh, let's set up right here. It's not so loose here. This is good. This is good. It's a harder surface. It's a harder. Dispose of water properly. Leave what you find. 
Wow, Meredith, take, take a look this at this. This looks so cool. So nice. I just want to like sit down and like, relax on it. Nah, you shouldn't do that. No? You should just leave it. You should leave it? Yeah. It's here. Okay. You just deserve it. Okay, I understand. Minimize campfire impacts. Minimize. Baby girl, let me sing to you. You're getting your degree, you're going to college. I'm making music, hoping that Kanye puts me on. But if I don't make it, baby, would you be mad at me if I just show? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Damn, what are you doing? Oh. You're disrespecting the wildlife. There's a path right here. Oh my gosh. Dude, get down. Oh. Alright, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it feels good to be a gangster.